I received an email from a black woman. Nothing negative at all. Like this video won't be that if, if that's what you were expecting. Nothing negative. This was actually a video showing love. She said that I make her want to be a better black person. And that type of shit touches my motherfucking heart. It solidifies my purpose when I see black people that send me messages like this telling me I make them want to be a better black person. I love that shit. Because that's, that's all I'm here to do. Is make you want to be a better black person. A more prideful black person. A more unapologetic black person to represent for yourself and not give a fuck about white acceptance that's my mission and to be an example of such as I navigate this life she sends me this message where she's telling me how because of me she watched my videos to get that you know to get that little motivation and I love being able to do that for black people but she says I'm trying to convince my friends and family to be the same way I turn them on to your videos which I do appreciate anybody that's sharing my videos I know they're not really that popular but I do appreciate anybody that's taking the time out to share my videos who feel like I have a message that black people need to hear I appreciate you for that she says but they disagree with your message and they disagree with me on some of the ideologies that I've taken on. They're used to me being more passive. You know, most black people are used to being passive, just getting along. You know, this is what I see you know, as black people doing it all the time. We're just trying to get along. We just wanna, you know, blend in good enough to where white people don't really, you know, pay us no attention really. We just want peace that way. Therefore, we're not gonna hold our fist up because that brings attention to us. And there's a de negative stigma on uh, having that mentality she says since she started to be more pro-black and more unapologetic and more prideful then her family's having negative things to say now y'all know this is a very common message this isn't a rare thing there are black people who experience this all the time uh, anybody who has decided to kill that coon inside of them it may take longer than you think. Sometimes that motherfucker is scurrying around, is running, is moving, is ducking, is dodging, is hiding behind shit. You know, that motherfucker is not an easy motherfucker to kill sometimes. But people are trying to get a hope to it, trying to set traps for that motherfucker to set him up to get him killed. It's not an easy mission sometimes. There's so many layers you have to go through, so many behaviors that you're engaging in that you don't really even see um, and understand until you take time out to look at everything. People may watch my videos. I'm like, damn, I didn't know I was on some coon shit when I did that. I had people even tell me that. Like, I ain't even realize I was on some coon shit. I was thinking like that. But now I realize and now I can do something about it. So I appreciate those messages as well. But there are a lot of us who are faced with trying to please family, trying to please friends, trying to, you know, give them the black pill. Have them take the black pill. And I want to tell you, for your own peace of mind, you cannot force the black pill on anyone. I can't force that on anyone. I wish I could. I wish I could force black people. I wish I could indoctrinate black people like we've been indoctrinated in this country to be pro-black, to be unapologetic, to not give a fuck about white acceptance. I wish I could do that. I can't do it. You can't do that. All you can do is be that example. Be that consistent voice. The speaking that voice of reason, that pro-black voice of reason, when there may be certain situations that black people go through, I hear it, I hear racism. When they're telling it and when they're experiencing it, they don't see or view racism. They don't even see it. They're oblivious to certain things that they experience that are just racism, flat out racism. It may make them uncomfortable, but they don't call it racism. They just chalk it up as somebody being an asshole. Hmm. They chalk that shit all the way up. And then rarely do they see 
what behaviors they're engaging in that cause this white person to be racist towards you. They don't even see that. For example, I imagine if I'm a white person, I'm going to be more inclined to be racist towards a black person that I see actively trying to assimilate. Actively. A black person is going to change their voice, you know, wear their Marilyn Monroe shirts, deal with uh, news commentary in an anti-black way. And I, for example, typically when you're around white people, even if black people, areas of politics are going to come up. You're going to deal with certain news situations, certain things that you may have seen and everybody's going to be giving their opinion about it. Whole conversations are built on people's opinions about what's going on in the world. Many of us as black people will cower in these situations. We may have certain thoughts, but say there's an injustice that happened against black people. We'll allow people to have the opinion that those black people deserve that treatment. We'll allow that to be even though when we get amongst our black friends, we may speak more real about it when it's just us. We have this kind of cowardice about us. When it's just us, we'll stand up. It's more comfortable to stand up in those situations. I get that. I used to be like that. So I understand you. But what you must understand in these situations you're allowing yourself, that white person sees the uh, opinion that you have. The fit straddling motherfucker. So they're gonna be more inclined to be racist towards you. They see you don't got no pride, you don't stand up with your people. So a lot of the things that we go through, even these subtle uh, racism that we go through is because we've shown white people, this is who we are, we'll take it. We don't care. There could be something blatantly racist happening in the world and we don't even have that opinion proudly amongst them. Now I changed. I became the voice for my people no matter where I am and no matter who's there. I don't give a damn if it's a, a goddamn uh, executive, owner of a company or whatever. It doesn't matter to me at all. If the conversation comes up, I'm going to stand with and for my people. I'm just going to. Some people don't feel like they can articulate it good enough. Practice then. Practice standing up. Practice having opinions backed with nothing but straight facts. You can practice that. Same way you learn a song, as you practice the lyrics over and over again, y'all learn y'all's favorite rap song, learn your talking points. You do it the same way, I did it the same way. Learn your talking points. You can be by yourself sometimes, I'll be by myself, just talking. talking, running through in my mind what I would say, how I would say it. Dropping straight facts. That's a practice. That doesn't just come naturally. Many people will um, even send me messages like, man, I could never do what you do. Yes, you can. It requires practice. It requires you knowing the information. It's a requirement. And it also requires you taking the chance on disrupting your family conversations. You're not sounding like everybody else no more. You have to be willing to do that. Disrupting the conversations you have with your friends. They're sitting here talking about all this coon shit and reinforcing coon behavior. Because a lot of times if you get amongst your black friends, they're always reinforcing coon behavior. Always. If you listen closely enough to them, they're reinforcing coon behaviors, even if it comes down to their personal relationships. I've talked to many parents of children who at one time I would have let them trash their motherfucking kid's mom in front of me, trash their kid's dad in front of me. Now I want to bridge that gap, especially if I know them like, motherfucker, I know you doing this shit. You doing some shit that ain't right. I'm not going to sit here and let you do this. 
I'm not going to sit here and let you say this. I know I've seen you. Keep that child away from um, that father because you're mad at him. I've seen you do it. So I'm not going to sit here and listen to you continue to do that. Even if it means you're not going to be my friend no more. You want people sitting around you that's going to act like that shit. It's okay. I've seen you. I know that you as a father are not putting in the effort that you should be to see that child, to be in that child's life. Because you mad at the woman. I've seen you. So I'm not going to be your little crowd. No, I'm not going to be the person in your little crowd that uh, uh, gives you the yes man, uh, uh, you know, that yes man behavior. Like, yeah, man, it's, I understand. No, I see you. You could be doing and putting in more effort. So now I'm going to tell you that, you see. Because that to me is coon behavior. That's a black child. So you'll lose friends even then, but you have to be willing to do so. And you have to not be scared to lose those friends because those aren't your friends. Now you drifted into a whole nother category. Well, now you have to rebuild your circle or be circle -less. A lot of y'all have a problem here. A lot of us have a problem here on this path. You may have to be circle -less. Mm Mm-hmm. Because at some point you have to not be willing to sacrifice yourself. You're not going to coon for friends. Coon in company just to make people happy. I went through this shit so I know it's real. I'm not okay with that behavior that you're talking about. That's some coon shit you own. I'm not okay with that opinion that you have. That's some coon shit you own. I'm not okay with the activities you engage in on a daily or sometimes weekly basis. That's some coon shit you own. You could be doing something else. I'm not going to have the conversations about sports with you all day. That it won't be me. I can't do it with you. Talk about all the pussy you conquered all day. I can't do that with you no more. Now, of course, we can still have man talk. But I'm not going to do that with you all day. You may lose friends. Because they want to be around people that's into that type of shit. You may lose family. Because they want to be around the same people. The same motherfuckers are going to just agree with what they're talking about. When they start talking about white Jesus, they just want to hear amen. Not no more. When they start talking about black uh, things that are happening with black people, they want to have cool opinions. You can have them, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to speak to that. I'm going to speak against that. So they ain't want to invite me no more. I, shit, we, he ain't got to come. We don't need him here. That's fine. I'm okay being circleless, and you have to be okay with that when you start walking on this path. I'm okay with having people not fuck with me like that. Not saying that they don't, but I'm okay with it. People still fuck with me, they know who I am. But I had to stand in that and be willing to sacrifice that. You have to be willing to sacrifice that shit. That's what it takes. You're not going to be able to force a black pill on anyone. What people will be able to do is see how you live your life. And be like, damn, maybe I can do that shit too. You have to be that example. Consistently. Unwavering, unbuckling. That's who you have to be. At all times. That's what it takes. You can't force people. I learned that. I used to try. So I went through it already. I used to try to force people. Then I saw, well, these motherfuckers, if they into some cool shit, they want to be cool, that's on them. You have to allow them to be that way. But what they see now, what well, the example they see from me now, is, well, this motherfucker is really like this all the time. It's not a game. It's not something he's doing for social media. I see how he stands up for himself around these white folks when we in mixed company. That's what they see. That's what they're going to understand. Not you trying to force them. Be consistent. And that's what it takes. 
and be ready to be circleless. That's what it takes. And again, I really appreciate your message to any black person that is out here feeding off of me. I appreciate you for even allowing me to have that position in your life. Because you don't have to do that. I appreciate you. I'm not a perfect man. I'm not sitting here acting like I'm perfect. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still crafting out the man that I want to be. Still. But I appreciate you for using me as a light for you. But understand this path is rough. It is not all motherfucking uh, glitz and glam and glory. No. No. You have to be ready to sacrifice. You have to be. Because of the mentality of our people. Be that example even when you're around white folk. Especially then. You ain't got to be loud. You don't have to be belligerent. I don't have to do those things. But I'm not going to allow my people to be disrespected. Because I'm sitting right there. That's how arrogant white folk are. <laughs> They'll disrespect you and your people. You sitting right there. But they expect a certain behavior from you. But that shows the black people that they deal with on a regular basis. They're not used to me. They're not used to you. And it's really about time that we change that. But that's all the fuck I wanted to say. I hope this helped. I know again it's lonely. It can be lonely. People look at it as lonely, but you have to you on a path right now. When you take on being this, you make a pledge. To say fuck everything Fuck everybody This is who I am And you have to stand in that shit Strong too Unwavering You must stand in that But y'all like, share, subscribe Hit that notification bell Comment, feel me to comment If you've been going through If you've gone through something similar If you are witnessing your friends fall off If you are uh, uh, gaining respect Because again a lot of people think You know that this gets you a lack of respect This gets you respect Motherfuckers know When you have to deal with white folk all the time They know who you are This actually gets you They'll respect you more They're not going to do that bullshit around you They're not going to do it around you And they're looking to please you constantly Now you know it's fake But they're looking to please you They are the utmost They have the utmost respect for you When you stand up for yourself A lot of black folk don't know that they too worried about white folk liking them and they think that white folk like for them to act like a, a, a caricature of them white folk may like that but they're gonna respect me more and I'd rather have respect than like any goddamn day but that's all the fuck I want to say y'all child team Rob y'all already know what the fuck it is I'm out